For this casting theme uh, with, water, with the watercolour interpretation, I'm hoping to try out a combination of abstract watercolour effects uh, with a figurative. The abstract being the surroundings, the sun rays, which you can possibly achieve with silicon rubber on watercolour when it's dry. Use of masking fluid on the rod and line. Use of masking fluid here. Possibly use of masking fluid here with some different uh, tools for applying, like an old washing up brush if you have such a thing, or an old house decorating brush. Also, any any sort of brush that's got some loose bits on it that would make an impression with masking fluid, which is another would be another essential part of this to have masking fluid. So uh, that's one image to choose. That's another one of casting. They all have similar properties, abstract and figurative, or representative, sharp and soft, or loose or lost areas. So find area, lost area, uh, find area, lost area, and find area, and lost area. Um, but to begin with, I've scale this image a bit by just drawing a diagonal and then getting down to where the figure is located in a rectangle that is proportionately, if that's one, this goes one and a half times so the figures can sit in a rectangle that is um, proportionately one to one and a half ratio and to draw that um, I can perhaps illustrate that best by looking at the drawing of the negative shapes. So the figure can be drawn any size within reason um, if as long as this distance one is goes one and a half times into the height the ratio the proportion is going to remain the same whether it's this size or that size. So what I did to start this um, drawing and to make the drawing on a larger piece of watercolour paper, which I've done here. The figure is the key to this, so um, drawing the figure, I can illustrate that. This is a, a similar um, rectangle, and if I, I, what I do is look at the empty spaces. So I'm looking at this funny little triangle in here. I'm looking at uh, where this this shape bisects here. I'm looking at this angle here and another little triangle cutting across there. I'm looking at that angle. Yeah, I've got to remember to look at the negative shapes quite carefully and not um, let the mind wander off that. Off that. So I should come up to about there. Be lower, just a bit lower. There's the back of the head, there's the front. Just sitting there somewhere. So the figure is relatively small in this image, but it doesn't matter that the proportion is right since everything else is going to be quite loose. Here, here, peak cap. Heavy leggings. I'm looking at the relationship of these shapes. And So I think his weight, the weight of this figure is thrust onto the left leg and this leg is thrust forwards 
So let's see if we could see it more clearly, it would be something like that. And his other hand is somewhere there, just a little bit of elbow there in the hand. Seems like it's paying out the line there a little bit. Bag for the fish. That's about it for the drawing of the figure. Um, so I've done that rather quickly and I did this one a little more slowly, drew it more carefully and I marked the positions or the relative places to mask. If I'm going to mask this, which I think I might, with a small brush to catch the light on here. And by masking um, the light areas I'll be able to use a fairly liberal abstract effect behind this. Uh, wet into wet, maybe with sponges, maybe with different brushes, uh, old decorating brushes, maybe a little bit of salt resist here, some scratching out. There, 